Hi, I'm Chef Sherry Ronning, and I'm here to show you how to make nachos on the Blackstone Griddle. Blackstone Griddle nachos are real easy to make. You just need a couple different ingredients. We have burger, you just have your ground burger. We have a few toppings, some water in a water bottle, and some oil. I use the olive oil. And I also like to use this taco seasoning. You can use any type of taco seasoning that you like. Um, this is just one of my preferences that I like to use. We buy in bulk because we use it quite often. And then you will need a dome lid. We're just going to use the small dome lid today. Okay, we have our griddle preheated. It's on medium heat. It is pretty good here, so we're just gonna put down a little bit of oil. We're gonna cook our burger, our taco meat, to start off with. So we just got, the, we got about a half a pound of ground burger. And then you're just gonna break it up. I like to make this nachos for my family um, every so often. It's a quick, easy meal to make. And on the griddle, it's very easy to make. Within a matter of just a couple minutes, you'll have a quick meal for your family. Or this also you can be an appetizer. You can serve as an appetizer to a group of visiting relatives. Or okay, so it's almost close to being browned. We still have a couple of pieces here, raw pieces, so I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer. I'm going to try to separate the grease a little bit away from the meat because when you're making this, I don't like to have the grease cooked into it. So once it's browned really good, the grease will come out of it. And then, see, you could separate that grease right out of there. And you just put that down the grease trap. Separate as much as I can out. Burger's looking pretty good. So at this point, the burger's brown good. We are going to season it. So I'm just gonna add some of the seasoning, and this is depending on your preference, whether you like it really seasoned or just lightly. Um, I don't measure anything. I just sprinkle some on there. And then you're gonna wanna add water to it. The water is gonna create the steam and it's gonna help the seasoning combine into the burger. And then we're just gonna stir it up a little bit. It's gonna cook really quickly. So then I'm just gonna add the dome lid over top of it. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to let it steam really good. Like that, we're gonna let it cook. And while that's cooking, then we're going to get the, the nachos ready. So we're just going to add chips. I have the tortilla strips. Just going to add some onto the tray here. 
I just have a parchment a parchment lined baking sheet and I have some of the chips. Just spread it out so it's nice and even. You don't want a big clump of it. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't. I prefer to have it spread out nice and even. And so then once the burger is done, the taco meat we're gonna add to the top of this. Let's check the burger here. Mm, it's looking real good. You can see it kind of thicken up just a little bit, and that's what you want. So we're gonna leave the dome lid off, and we're gonna just let the moisture evaporate out of it. And as you see, this is only taking just a couple minutes. It's really quick and easy to do. I'm going to take my sheet pan with the tortilla strips. I just have the tortilla strips on here. You can use the rounds, tortilla rounds, the tortilla scoops, um, anything that you would, any of the chips. You can actually even use the Dorito chips underneath of it. Um, so I'm going to just take the taco meat and just spread right over top of it. Just sprinkle. Just like that. And then I'm going to take some of the shredded cheese. You can use any type of cheese that you like. I like a, like a Mexican four blend or a Colby Jack cheese. So you're just going to sprinkle it here. You can actually, if you want to heat this up, you can actually put it on the griddle and let the tortilla chips heat up and the cheese melt on it. If you would like, you can put the dome lid over top of it. Um, I'm just going to let the burger melt the cheese. And we're just going to add a little bit of chopped lettuce, chopped greens, any type of greens that you would like. And this too can be easily customizable. You can add um, guacamole, you can add refried beans if you like, anything anything will go with this um, and I'm going to add just a little bit of tomatoes like that and I'm going to top it off with a dollop of sour cream just like that and there you go within a matter of just a couple minutes we have nachos from the Blackstone griddle Nachos, nice and warm, hot, cheese is melting. Mm. So delicious. Really good. Your family's going to love it. And they'll come back for more. If you like my page, subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my website from Michigan to the table .com. Like this page, like this recipe, and come back for more. Bye.